Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Noah Zindombela, also known as Kwazi Bear on all social media platforms. Do subscribe, be a part of this family. And if you are returning Sabi, then welcome back, darling. Now, guys, you know that I'm bringing you soccer updates on a weekly basis or actually depending on how many games we have in a week so this week as we all know it was the mtn8 quarterfinals well the beginning of the mtn8 quarterfinals we had two games we were anticipating fireworks and fireworks is exactly what we got in this weekend's quarterfinal games without wasting too much of your time let us get into this video and i'm bad like the barbie i'm a dog but i still want to party things are like i'm ready to bend i'm a 10 so i pull an next 10 like Daddy. Orlando Pirates took on Supersport United on Saturday evening and they are through to the semi-finals after defeating Supersport 3-1 in extra time. Stellenbosch took on TS Galaxy today which is Sunday the 4th of August and they too are through to the semi-finals after defeating TS Galaxy 3-1. So it was raining goals this weekend. You cannot tell that it is the very first games of the season because the intensity was very very high. Let's get into the Orlando Pirates versus Supersport game. First things first, Vincent Boulay was in the starting lineup for Supersport United. As you may know, he has signed from Pirates and he was part of the starting lineup for the day. There were many opportunities in the first half with Supersport's defense keeping Orlando Pirates at bay. Oli Sandar scored the first goal of the game with a brilliant back kick into the goal in the 44th minute. They went into the halftime break with Orlando Pirates leading Super Sports United with that solitary goal. Within the first four minutes of the second half, Vincent Boulay, surprise, surprise, scores his very first goal for Super Sports United against his former employers. He did not celebrate. And this is something that I do not understand. Why not celebrate when you score against the team that you played for before? I know they say it's disrespect, but disrespect how? Because they let you go. <laughs> they let you go. You should celebrate. Bradley Hrobler unfortunately sustained an injury in the 58 minutes, which forced Super Sports United into their first change of the game. The game was played with very high intensity with several good saves from Ricardo Goss of Super Sports United, keeping the game level at 90 minutes. The game then went into extra time and Munabule Saleng scored the second goal for Orlando Pirates in the first half of extra time. After having played just a few minutes in extra time, Evidence Mahoba then scores goal number three for Orlando Pirates. Talk about a super sub. During this period, Gavin Hunt also received a red card um tensions were very high in the game tensions were very high he received a red card and was sent off the man of the match in this match was Munabule Saleng now let's get into the match between Stellenbosch and TS Galaxy the first goal of the match came through in the 17 minutes from Kamuhele Sibelebele um for TS Galaxy and an equalizer was then scored in 24 minutes by Steady's Jaden Adams. The game was so exciting. Just before halftime, we had another goal from Stellenbosch scored by Andre de Jong. And this was after um, the mistake that he made, which caused the first goal for TS Galaxy. So he definitely made up for that. Stellenbosch went into the second half leading 2-1 and in the 56 minutes, Basadine scored their third goal. Just a few minutes before the end of the game, Mashangu was sent off after receiving his second yellow card of the game. The man of the match in this game was Sishenduli of Stellenbosch. Now this little segment at the end of these videos is where I will share with you guys some of the players that stood out or one player that stood out in each game. And for the Orlando Pirates game, definitely Maswangai. The guy really stood out. He really played really, really well for Orlando Pirates. And I understand why he won the player of the season last season. He showcased some very impressive moves. And in the Stellenbosch game, definitely Sibelebele of TS 
Lakers Galaxy really really stood out for me those are my two players that stood out in the two games this week I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and lastly if there are any teams in the PSL that are watching these videos and would like to send me their soccer jerseys to don in my videos please do hit me up I will leave my contact details in the description box down below I will see you guys next week when we catch up on the games between Sikukune and Cape Town City as well as Mamelodi Sundowns and Bolivane City. Bye!